morning. Welcome back to a brand new week of kindergarten. We just finished up a weekend, which means you had two days to rest and relax at home and be renewed to start your next week. So when I left you last week, it was Friday, October 9th. Then we had Saturday, October 10. We had Sunday, October 11. And today is Monday, October 12th. So we had three days, one, two, three days since I've seen you last. Let's go ahead and count the days in October. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve days so far in the month of October. Let's add another number to our hundreds chart, and these are the days we've had so far in school. So we have had 25 days so far, a quarter of a hundred. We have 25 days. So we are going to go ahead and count the days so far in kindergarten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, a two and a five. Let's add another straw to our mix and we will count those together. So each bundle is a bundle of 10. So here we have 10, two bundles is 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and one more makes 25. So we'll switch this four whoop, to a five. Pick up our six for tomorrow. So 25, a two, and a five. Let's add one more dot. What color dot do you think we need here? A blue one. We need to fill in that blue row, so we'll put our blue dot there. And let's count by tens. So here we have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. We could also count by fives using a 10 frame by counting our color changes. So here we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We have five sets of five. One, two, three, four, five times five is 25. We're looking at our tally marks, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There's already four straight ones, which means our fifth one is a slant. So we're going to go ahead and put a slanted line, and that shows our fence post there. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 tally marks. This week, we'll talk in reading about our new week. We're still sticking with that theme of how do we live, work, and play together. But this week, we're going to talk about how do school children work and play together. And so all of our work this week is going to be around that surrounding question of how do we as kiddos work and play together. Now, even though we're at home, we're still thinking about what it would be like at school. And I bet there are still ways that you work and play together with other kiddos or other adults or other people, even though you're at home this week. We'll continue with those amazing words this week of am, 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 and I. I and am will continue this week as well. Um, we will work on the some more red letter recognition this week. F G H I J K L M N, as well as reviewing those first ones we did last week, A, B, C, D, and E. Our story this week is called, We Are So Proud. So we have a new set of amazing words this week. Six new words that we'll talk about once we get to reading. Those words are proud, cooperation, creation, float, guide, and preparation. So we'll talk about what those words mean and use them in a story much later this week. Um, we're going to switch gears today and kind of shift away from rhyming for now. We'll come back to it. And we're going to talk about syllables this week. Words having a certain number of parts, and those parts are called syllables. And so we'll really hit that this week in our reading lessons. Uh, social studies, we'll be talking about working together, belonging to a group, rules at school. We've already touched on that, but we're going to revisit that again as we're reading our story this week. And then our vocabulary words are some color words, red, white, and blue. Huh. 
and noticing a theme in our things this week, red, white, and blue. So that's our overarching goals for this week. I can't wait to work with you. We'll see you really shortly.